Okay, so what I'm about to show you guys is um, how to create a Venn diagram using Google Docs. And there's no worries if you are a Chromebook user or if you're using laptop or desktop because Google Docs is definitely free for everyone. So, okay, so if this is your Google Docs, you just have to go to insert, click here, insert, and then you go to drawing and then there's a small arrow here. So that will bring you here and then you click new. All right, then that will bring you here into our drawing pad. <clears throat> Sorry. And then, so here, it's not only Venn diagram that you can do, but you can definitely do anything because you have here different shapes. Uh, you can have labeling here and everything that we can do from here. So for Venn diagram purposes, so let's just go in here. This is for the shapes. So you can see circle and square behind. So click this one and then you go to shapes then you can choose from all over here. So for Venn diagram, we will use the circle. Then you will just have to drag it. Just start wherever you want. So say here, this is my first circle. And then that will automatically fill in with the color. So if you want to get rid of this color, then you just have to go in here. This is for the fill color. It says fill color. You just have to hover the mouse, don't click. And you can see this is for image, this is for text box, this is for shape. And so this one, to remove the color, we just have to go to fill color. And then click, and then you can find different colors here if you want to change the color. But I want this one to be transparent because I will write labels inside it. So then I'm um, with considering two sets, say set A and set B. So I will have to have another circle, but instead of going back in here <clears throat> to insert another circle, I'm sorry, <clears throat> I can just go ahead and right click. There's copy and there's paste. I can also go in here. There's action here where there's copy and paste, right? And then remember that copy is control C, that, that's, that's the shortcut command. And for paste, we have control V shortcut. So let's say control C, all right? And then let's have control, I will press CTRL, control, and then V, that will cut, uh, paste the one that I copied and then just drag <clears throat> at a desired um, distance, say there. So as you can see, I have now two circles. This represents set A and inside this circle, are the elements that represent set B. And then this part here, as you can see, this is a shared portion or region between these two circles. So this is for the intersection, okay? So then if I want to label or I want to have numbers inside this one, not necessarily numbers, you can have texts. So for numbers, I will go ahead and go to um, this one here. And then let's see. I will make a square, a small, a small square, and then I will click inside, and then let's say this is a seven. Then, okay, if you want it bigger, then you can just um, in, increase your font size here. Say this is 24. All right, then to make it faster, you can just copy this and duplicate this one. So let's say Control C for copy, and then Control V several times, depending on how many numbers you want. Then you can just drag each one. Okay, by the way, in dragging, make sure that you have, say, see this, um, <clears throat> see my mouse moving? So this one is an arrow. So if you go in there, you can see four directional arrows and that will make you drag the object. See, then I will just click inside and then replace it with say a four and then drag drag this one maybe down here and then it's not working so let's do it again so let us say um this could be let's say a two all right then drag drag this one down there up there i mean <laughs> sorry and then let's say this is a nine and then so 
basically just do everything that, whatever you want so i might just drag this portion so it's taking so long so I'll say this is a one and then this is a let's say a three and then let's move somewhere okay so without the four directional arrow it won't let you move it will only expand the 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 square or the rectangle so let's say this is a six six all right and then this one is an eight let's say an eight so we have somewhere here so let's just delete this we don't need that much um we're just um i'm just trying to demonstrate to you how to do it so let's just say cut this one control x for cut uh, I can do cut here and then one more let's do it come on so right click oh no so and then cut <clears throat> Right, cut. Okay. Oh, it's not. How oh, come? Let's see. Come on. So let's do this one and cut. All right. All right. There you go. So then, if you want to label this as set A and this is set B, so I can just go ahead and click T. And then let me say this is an A, capital A. By the way, um, Make sure that if you are um, naming an element, I mean a set, conventional way of naming a set should is to be in capital letter, okay? So if that signifies an, a set, then it should be capital. But for the elements, so these are the elements inside the set. You can have small letters, but if you mean the name of the set, then it should be in a capital letter. So we have conventional way of doing things. So I just copied and pasted here and then let me change this into capital B. Okay, that's it, so I'm done. So for those questions, say you wanna get the union of A and B, the intersection of A and B and everything, all those questions you have to do it in the Google Docs, not here, because that will take so much time. All right, so let's just go ahead and click save and close and that will bring you back to Google Docs. There you go. Say you want to edit this, so you can still do that by clicking on this because this is now as a whole, as, an, as one object. It's not anymore that you can click 9, 8, whatever, but this as a whole is one object. So if you want to go back and click it and then do some edit so you just go in here so you see if you click outside say let's see okay if you want to edit this so you just hover your mouse and then you have you'll see edit then just click this one and then that will bring you back here so that you can add something or delete something you see i can click to each one of this <clears throat> still waiting okay you see i can click so i can do anything that i want so let's go back, save and close. And then you have to have your questions down below here. Okay, then by the way, so that you can insert your questions, make sure that you click wrap text. All right, so that um, you can write your things in the place you wanna put that in. So let's say I wanna have that down here, all right? <clears throat> then I wanna make it bigger so it'll be more visible, say 24. Then I wanna know what is the element, what are the elements in A? What are the elements of set A? So, all right, then your answer should start with the proper notation, which is the curly brace, all right?
Then if we mean set A, these are all the elements inside this circle A, right? So in naming those elements, you have to also follow rules. So since these are numbers, you have to write your answers in a numerical order and should start from the very least to the greatest. So say in this circle, we have one, two, four, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, seven. So it has to be in that order. And here's one thing. The system that you have in Canvas um, is very strict in using the delimiters. So this means you have to use a, a comma and then a space. And it's they are being strict to this. If you will not follow this, then even if you have the correct answers, you have all the elements that are actually expected to be in that set, but you didn't follow the correct delimiters, you don't have the comma or you don't have the space, that will make your answer wrong. So then let's make it clear. So for set A, you have to start with the very least. So we have one and then a comma and then a space followed by a two comma space, three comma space four. So in this case here, if you follow it with a seven, and we don't have a space in between a comma and seven, that will make this set A wrong, okay? So let's have a space again and then a seven. But that is what the system does. But in real scenario, if you are, if you are just using a pen and, and a paper, then <laughs> we cannot do that and we don't have to do that. So just for the purposes of the canvas, for your canvas, so we have to follow the rules that is being set for you. So for set B, you can just do the same. Just have to get all the elements inside B. So in this case, we have one, three, six, eight, and nine. Okay, let's, let me show it to you. So again, we'll use this, this curly bracket. And then we, have, we also have still one because that is still inside this circle of set B. So we have a one and then comma space. We have three comma space, six comma space, eight comma space, and nine, and then close. All right. So one, three, six, eight, nine. Correct. So now let's go here. How are we going to write A union B when we don't have that symbols here? So to have those union and intersection symbols, you just have to go to insert again, insert, and then there is this equation here. Click equation, and then you can see those choices down here. So remember that is math operations. So it should be because, okay, if you hover your mouse in here, there are labels that says Greek letters. This one is for miscellaneous operations. So we have this for the math operations. So this is where we can get the union symbol. Okay, then you can make it smaller though. So just have to make it, let's say 18, say, okay. Then you will have here the B, which is 24, a 24, um, capital B, and then a, 24 also for A. So that is how you're, oh, sorry. So this should be, oh, what happened? Um, let's see there. Oh, okay, sorry. So that happens because I write it inside or together with the union symbol. So it should be outside the, the union symbol. So I have to click outside the square, all right? Okay, so let's see A, oh, still, because, oh, come on. So let me have the capital A first. Capital A, and then let's have the union again. What happened? Ah, oh, my connection is really giving me trouble. <clears throat> All right, then let's have this union symbol here, and then let's click from the outside, and then let's have B. 
fire set me and then so what are those so again to make this smaller you can just go back and um just this one here Let's see 14 oh why can't Oh, it's giving me trouble. Okay, so for A union B, let's have this one. So union means combination. So since we have here a, set A and set B with the union symbol in, um, in between, so that means the combinations of both set, sets A and B. So you have to gather all of the elements of both A and B. Okay, so, but you have to write, so let's focus on here. Set A has one, two, three, four, seven, and B has one, three, six, eight, and nine. So for the union, you just have to copy everything, but write the numbers just once, save for one. So both have one, so I will have one, comma, space. Then I don't have to write this one again because I already have this one here. So I have a two, comma, space, a three, and then a four, what else? We have a six, we have an eight, and a nine. So again, for every number, they it is written only once, okay? Now next, so for A, intersection B, so we just have to be here. This is the intersection, all right, and then let's, Click from the outside and then let's have B. Okay, and then we have equals. So the intersection is actually the those elements that are common or that can be found between the two sets. So this one and three are both found in A and B, right? So you see one and three is or belong to this circle, but this, the same numbers belong to this set also. So that one and three or this region represents the intersection. So then we have one and comma three here and then close. That is all. Thank you for watching.